Hey traders, Ragi here and in this video we're going to cover gold and probably one of the more frequently asked questions that I get which is, Rog, do we have a buy in gold at these levels? So last week we did a lot of discussion on one minute charts about exhaustion or retracement trades where, for example, in an uptrend the market comes down to support and we buy that versus a market in an uptrend coming up to resistance and what would qualify as a volume confirmed breakout where we would buy that. So that was a one minute day trading type conversation. Now what if we take the same thing, the same ideas, the same tools, and now we focus on the daily time frame, the end of day charts. So here we have gold. Now I'm starting off with the indicator set that is the momentum indicator set. 10x candles are measuring whether or not the structure is momentum friendly, momentum meaning the kind of movement we need to get higher through resistance. Maybe that resistance is a Darvis level overhead. Maybe that resistance is the value area high currently for the month of July. Uh, maybe that resistance is simply 1800 or 1801. But at the end of the day, what we're looking at is justification, reason, confirmation that the market can get to a level that is a ceiling and continue past it. And what we have right now does not confirm that. These yellow 10x candles are telling us that we do not have a momentum friendly structure. But we do have some propulsion dots. So let's go to our retracement structure here. All right, so now what am I looking at? I'm looking at the grab candles the 34 EMA wave and the V score and levels from which I would be willing to buy a pullback. Because again, I'm not going to buy through higher highs unless the environment on the 10X candles and the conviction dots are telling me that we one, have a momentum environment and two, have the confirmation of volume as we're taking out resistance. So then by that process of elimination, I end up here on my, my typical layout, which is where can I buy a pullback? So for gold, I'm really looking at the 21 exponential moving average. I'm really looking at really uh, getting down even to, I like this area around 1755, even the area around 1764, where the 21 exponential moving average is all the way down, quite frankly, I'd be okay with, with being a buyer. Now this would not be a trend following buy, but we're not really in a trend, are we? Let's, let's take one more step back. This is the range that we're in right now. So this would be the lower end of the range. Okay, so what I'm talking about is probably a slightly aggressive trend following pullback buy. So that would be that area between the 34 EMA on the high and the 21 exponential moving average on the close down to the 34 EMA on the close around 1755, 1750. So that area is really good and it's slightly aggressive. So maybe think about the micro gold contracts, options on the gold futures or options on GLD in this sort of upper area of a buy. And then if you get down to this area, this is where you know I'm much more comfortable up against 1700 buying gold futures, but I don't know that we're going to see that. I think this market is starting to see the 13 exponential moving average and the 21 exponential moving average prop dots light up, telling us that there's increasingly more likelihood of support at that 13 and 21 EMA as we look to maybe find enough volume to get through 1800. And how would we know that? Once again, we want to see the 10x candles on this particular indicator set, go green, and then get some nice conviction dots, or I actually sometimes turn them into arrows so that we know the volume is above average and that could power us through to new highs, through the value area high and through this Darvis area. All right, okay, that's tonight's uh, video in terms of what I wanna do next with gold and what I'm looking at, not only from a retracement standpoint, but from a momentum standpoint as well. Hope that helped. Leave your comments or questions below. I do take a look at them. I do answer them. So let me know if you do have any questions.